Statement lip, we've got really creamy, but it's luminous, but there's matte elements to the face and then there's creamy highlights. Um, you can really see the skin uh, looking luminous and clean and fresh and very groomed. Uh, the eyebrows have been brushed up. The face is very contoured, so it's catching not only taking in a lot of light, but also catching a lot of shade. And the lips, in essence, are two shades of red, the deeper red towards the outer corners of the mouth and then the bright bold red on the inner uh, pout. So we have a nice dimension to the lip and then a red glitter is placed with a brush uh, on top of a lip balm, which coats the lips and then we just place the red glitter all over. So for the graphic eye, again, we've got very sculpted, contoured, luminous looking, fresh young skin. The brows have been groomed upwards with transparent mascara and there's a very pale, soft, pinkish, lilac-y uh, lipstick. And in essence, we've taken a paintbrush, dipped it in a lot of uh, watercolors, so to speak, and just uh, applied that on the eye very randomly. So you get a nice streaks of a, a brush, you get that effect. And then there's just a little brushing of mascara. So for the Pretty Rebel look, I'm gonna break it down into three parts. The first one being skin and lips, what we've done essentially is very luminous, well-contoured, well-highlighted skin, but we've paid close attention to using bronzy, golden tones in the skin. Uh, so if you look closely, you will see bronze and gold sprinkled all over the eyes and the face. And then the lips have essentially just the same foundation dotted onto the mouth like that, just patted, patted, patted. So we don't have a definite lip line or anything, it's just that. Then we've taken a little bit of a highlighter and just patted it on the, on the middle of the mouth. With the brows, again, it's just clean, brushed up and outwards with a transparent mascara. The eyes have a lot of uh, kajal or coal inside them. They've been tight lined. And then it's been smudged out with like plums and deep browns. Um, a lot of bronze again. There's a little bit of gold here and there. So I've really just played with it and infused more and more color. And then there's a little hint of a teal on the inner corners of the eyes, which you'll see blended out. It makes it more young and fun as opposed to a seriously grown up uh, smoky eye. And then juxtaposed by this sporty braid. So on one side, there's a strong braid, a scalp braid, and the other side is really soft. And we've, we're working with a natural, but maybe we infuse a little bit of sea salt in the hair a little bit of wax and you have some sort of a texture. It's quite nice to play with that hardness, but still soft and pretty at the same time. 